What's up guys, DMG Tech Show, I'm your host Jonathan Parkinson. Um, in this episode I'm just going to show you a quick gameplay video. Uh, the reason I'm actually showing you this video is I want to show you kind of the limitations of what the Chromebook can do if you're trying to game on it via Steam. Now this is going to be Left 4 Dead 2. Uh, this is available in the Steam store, I believe it's like $20. Uh, I got it for a sale, I think I got it for 5 bucks when it was on a Christmas sale. Uh, so again, it's just me trying to show you what type of games. The reason I'm showing you Left 4 Dead 2 is because it has somewhat of decent quality graphics, I guess, as well as it's smooth gameplay in the beginning, but things can get a little hectic when there's because there's hordes of zombies that come rushing at you at certain times. And so I'm just going to kind of show you where it kind of slows down. Now the gameplay isn't impossible to have, though you might run into a little moment where kind of stops playing for a second where it's just kind of loading up and then the game will kind of kick back off there. So it's not impossible to play but you know depending on how you, you don't manage. Uh, I do have all the settings set to pretty much the lowest it can possibly go for everything. So here's just a quick understanding if you want to set yours up to the exact same as mine. So we'll go to done. Uh, I'm going to do it on single player uh, just because the location on my app doesn't have the fastest internet quality and I don't want to have to deal with all that. I will also say that it does take a second to load. Uh, what I mean a second to load is even starting up the game can take up to five minutes. It depends again on what, what you have going on. Uh, I am running the Acer C720 Chromebook, two gigabytes of RAM. Uh, I have done this video as well on a Acer C710, four gigabytes of RAM, but it has a slower uh, CPU. So it's not really the RAM that's the problem, it's more of the uh, processing power. Uh, this game only takes 2 gigabytes of RAM. But as you can see, this actual video is a little bit smoother. In my other video, the helicopter would be glitching right there. So as you see, you know, at least the frame rate is smooth for this part, but you'll see little things where it'll slow down. So as you see, everything works kind of smoothly, but as you hear, there's little things where it's glitching left and right. So let's just grab, actually we'll stick with the pistol, why not? I'll run them down here real fast, as you see, you know, getting pretty smooth, you know, I can move everything around. But the real question is, what's going to happen when we get some zombies? A little hard playing since I have a camera in front of my face right now. Oops. And as you, there's little of those glitches right there that you just noticed. Move out of my way, people. Just going attacking these dudes. So let's see if we can get into. Something's on me. The big dude right there. this will be a good actual way of showing it. So I'm going to come over here, this little puke is going to make a ton of horde of zombies come running out. So here they all come. And as you see, everything's kind of running alright. So, again, this is just me. Blast all these guys out of here. Here comes some more on me. And again, that's just me showing you a quick, quick video. So what I'm really doing there, obviously, is let's go ahead and just go to the menu. Okay, that's just me showing you that the Chromebook is capable of running some games. If you're somebody that's playing like WoW or guess all those type of games. I'm pretty sure they'll run even smoother than what you're seeing here. Now again, it's always going to come down to your internet connection when you're playing multiplayer games. Uh, if you do like certain games like what you're seeing here, you might want to try out uh, Team Fortress 2. It is a free game on the Steam uh, platform. Uh, I will have a link in the description on how to install Steam on your Google Chromebook. So uh, I do want to point that out there. Uh, also, a quick note is if you're running a Samsung device, uh, or should I better say an ARM-based Chromebook, 
you might not be able to install a lot of this stuff. That's because the ARM is based off of the ARM processor and not everything is quite caught up to that yet. Uh, a lot of developers that I speak with, they say that they don't really want to build for the ARM. They like to stick with the Intel just because the Intel works across Windows devices as well as obviously our Chromebook Linux devices.